There were three things to know about Elk Hollow Preparatory Academy before choosing to attend its hallowed halls. One, it was very old. Red brick and white gabled roofs, so revolutionary war, it made you want to pick up a musket and die on a hill. They didn't advertise the draft that came from the old windows in the pamphlet. Two, it was very expensive. Tuition that looked like a zip code kind of expensive. If Elk Hollow could have found a way to keep their lawn green through the Massachusetts winter by raising the tuition to six digits, they would have done so already. And plenty of senators, Wall Street suits, and old money widows would have paid it. Three. Like many very old and very expensive institutions, it carried a proud history of secret societies. A lot of them. At some point, they started to lose their meaning, if you asked me. But no one was really asking me anything. In fact, in the three years I'd attended Elk Hollow Preparatory Academy, no one had invited me to join a secret society at all. So I did what any enterprising young Elk Hollow student would do. I founded my own. Well, sort of. I like to think of it as an underground service, filling a niche. Because as much as every secret society, group, and club on the unwritten roster like to chant and force one another to run naked through the forest, a part of them wanted more. They wanted to pretend to be their mothers and fathers, sophisticated, powerful, and rich enough to afford to send their spawn to El Calo Prep. They wanted to spend large sums of money, and they wanted to feel clever doing it. That was where I came in. The Beginner's Blackjack Club was an official club, though not one that Elk Hollow advertised very well. It had a board faculty advisor, met in a cramped classroom off the library, and received a paltry stipend every year. As far as the school administration knew, it boasted a small, rotating cast of nervous freshmen fumbling with cards and not much else. The truth was a little more exciting. 